everybody and welcome back to our channel it is Wednesday the 6th of February I think <laughs> and we are currently just cleaning out my car and um, because unfortunately Daddy Flamingo has a chip which has developed into a crack obviously on his windscreen and that is gonna get fixed today I'm um, finally sitting in the front seat in the driver's seat aren't you so I'm just currently <laughs> hoovering out my car and getting rid of all the bits um, yeah, no, it's covered, isn't it? It's really bad. So we're basically swapping cars because the guy's coming, gonna come out and fix the windscreen. Um, it's coming out until this afternoon, and it's gonna be after the time that Jason needs to leave to go to London. Um, so we're having a bit of a car swap this week, but it means that I've got it clear out of my car, and by goodness <laughs> me, it is very, very dirty and covered in crumbs and sweetie wrappers and toys and all things two-year-olds like to keep in the car which is just about everything. And there's, da oh, there you saw Daddy Flamingo off. there. He's picking, oh, he's picking through. <laughs> you want the light off? Yeah. I'll go off on the door shut. So this is what I'm currently dealing with. So this is basically where Freddie's car seat has been. Like, so you can see along here all the crumbs are, which obviously you wouldn't be able to get through when the car seat's here. And it just sort of needs a little general tidy up. Um, it's probably not a Daddy Flamingo standards at all at the minute. But my excuse is that we carry a two-year-old most of the time in this car. It is an excuse. It's, it's loads of crumbs. I don't eat cheddars in the car. Or crisps, do I, mister? No. No. <laughs> so you should do it. Mago. There's no makeup spilt in this car, I tell you. <laughs> Hard at work. <laughs> There you go. If in doubt, spray some air freshener. <laughs> it's, it's just a freshener, though. I know. It's disinfectant, though, that one. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's like me. If in doubt, spray some polish. <laughs> what? Dust and just spray some polish? No. Actually, that's a good one, right? If you've ever got somebody coming around and you really, really haven't had time to sort of get all your housework and everything done, have a quick tidy and literally spray some polish into the air. And when you come back in the room, it honestly, it feels fresher. That's my tip for today. It's true. <laughs> so that is the car all finished. Well, as best as it's going to get right now. So there we go. As you can see, we've got rid of loads of the crumbs and the mess. Are you satisfied? Are you good? Are you happy? Well, yeah, but I've, I've just got to go. I know. No, I know. I'll, I'll be late. <laughs> picking the lads up on the way. How many are you picking up a day? You have to get a minibus. Three. Three? Yeah. Goodness I don't think all the stuff's going to fit in <laughs> <laughs> The postman part. Well, a pussy cat. Oh, pussy cat. Oh, <laughs> very good. Oh, it's going home now. Well, we shall see you all when you get back. I don't know, I don't know when I'm coming back. Oh my god. Cuddles. Bye, Daddy. Well, see you later. Oh, don't cry. When Daddy comes back, it'll nearly be your birthday. Yeah, your birthday, won't it? Oh, it's okay. Well, Listen, Fred, it's going to be okay. <laughs> Oh. I've got to work to get a new toys, haven't I? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be okay. No, no, crying. Going to work. Pussy cat's going away. You're not crying because I'm going to work. He's, He's crying because of pussy cat. All right, no problem. Oh, well, that makes things a bit yeah, easier for you, doesn't it? I said, another cat will come along. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bye. See you later. Bye. Yeah, it's going back. Yeah. Yeah. It's going. Yeah, it's, it's good, isn't it? It's going. Tell leave it until your birthday. Yeah, look. No. Yeah. It's a little bit. Yeah, look, it's going back. <laughs> You'll be saving soon. <laughs> shall, we, shall we let Daddy go to work now then? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, I'll see you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next gen. See you later. Remember, Daddy will be home, it'll be nearly your birthday. Yeah. It might even be your Daddy, birthday. Go. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Right. Bye Daddy. Bye. Bye. So that is it. Daddy from Mingo is now headed back to London. Um it feels like a really short time that he's been home this time. Um, I guess sometimes that just happens. Um, but yeah, 
mixed feelings but of course it's not going to be long until he's back again and until then we would have soldier on and obviously i'm quite busy at the minute um i'm rehearsing for legally blonde so i've got that tomorrow night and then looking ahead i've got an audition for shrek on sunday so me and freddie are just currently chilling i'm just about to have a banana freddie is eating so what have you got that so freddie what are you currently eating then Pears. You've currently got some pears. Yeah, and this is a dinosaur holder. A dinosaur holder, wow. Mm. Have you finished your cup of juice? Uh, no. Okay, well, pick it up off the sofa then, because mummy will have a heart failure. <laughs> Good boy. Well done. Are you missing daddy? Yeah. Oh, but we'll be back soon though, won't he? And then it'll nearly be your birthday. Mm. Oh, piggies on the telly. Oh, look how dirty my television is. All your fingerprints. Oh, lovely. Yeah, well, Freddie, you have to keep your fingerprints off the television. I know you are. You're a clever boy, though. Love you. Love you. Love you. So it's turned out quite a sunny day outside in fairness and it's keeping my mood lifted um, thinking ahead to the more spring days, the warmer weather and things because guys I'm pretty much over this cold weather now. Um, as much as I like be having cosy nights in and things like that, I'm ready for a little bit of spring. I'm ready to start getting out and enjoying some spring walks and seeing the new wildlife and everything growing and things like that. So me and Freddie are just having a little bit of lunch. Freddie's got a ham panini. I have got a ham and cheese. And we're just sitting in the living room just chilling. I'm waiting for the guy who's coming out to fix Daddy Flamingo's windscreen. So we can't really do much anyway. Um, it's not like I can go out and leave the car because obviously I'd have to leave it unlocked. Um, so I can't do that. So we're just going to be... Um, waiting for the guy to come and do that so this afternoon I'm probably just going to be doing a few jobs I'm just preparing some apple for Freddy um, he likes it peeled and sliced up so I'm just doing that for him now and he's going to watch a movie um, the guy has arrived to fix the windscreen on Daddy Flamingo's car which is fantastic really pleased with the service we've received from the company so far um, basically they um, I rang ahead of time, so I'm just looking for the grey that in the drawer I found it. Um, yay! No, that's a knife. <laughs> oh. No, right, I'll find it. So they did, the guy did ring ahead of his arrival, let me know how long he was going to be, which is fantastic. It would have meant that even if I'd been at the shop, so I would have had long enough to get home. So really pleased with the service received from not only the insurance company, but um, you know, the guy turning up sort of on time and everything like that, which I think means an awful lot. Um, so I'm going to cut an apple up for Freddie now, and he's going to watch a movie. Oh, you don't want to cut it up, you're just having it like that. Cool. Oh well, you're just going to have it. You're just having it like that, or do you want mommy to cut it and slice it? Hello! Hello! <laughs> Come on then, we'll go and put a movie on. Which one do you want to watch? Uh, Shrek. Shrek. Come on then, let's go. <laughs> right, so I'm going to go and put Shrek on for Freddy. But yeah, I'm pleased that the guys here, I hate waiting in for people. I don't know what it is. Um, but then it's going to be done. And then I get to drive Daddy's car for a week. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I like it. It's quite big because it's in a stage. And last year, I think you'll probably remember how scared I was of driving the car and it turned out to be amazing to drive, so I'm going to be driving that. I've also got to do something about my lips. I don't know if I've already said, but they're like dry, but I don't know, it's hard to explain. They're sort of like, and then they have bits of, bits of skin that want to like lift and then when I'm sitting bored, I'm like biting oh, them and they're in a terrible up. mess. Okay, I'll chop it up for you. You want to chop it up now? So... Yeah, I need to do so. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, bless me. I'll not use one of those now, don't worry. Um, so I need to do something because because it's bits of skin, I'm then biting it when I'm bored, and then that's making them worse, and then I'm just in like a vicious circle at the minute. What's that? So if anybody's got some good... I've tried plashing them with Vaseline every night, and that just seems to make like the loose skin and stuff soft. So, can you someone comment down below? There must be like a good solution to this. 
to get my lips sorted out. They just feel really drained. They even like to look at in the mirror the past week or so, they just look so like thin and there's like there's nothing to them anymore. I'm used to them being all like plump and nice. So please guys comment down below if you've got any solutions to dry, flaky lips, um, where the skin's sort of coming up and Vaseline just isn't touching the sides. So the windscreen is all fixed on Daddy Flamingo's car now, so that is great. That was done through auto windscreens, but we actually instructed it through our car insurance, so we didn't actually instruct them personally, but we were really happy with the service that we received. It's convenient because they came out at us, so we didn't have to go trips around to any garages or anything like that, so that was amazing. Um, Freddie is just currently in the living room, I just took him some juice through. I am busy cracking on with the washing. So I've got washing on the clothes hose that I am just in the process of taking off. And then I've got more washing to go on as well. Um, so this is the stuff that is currently on that I need to take off. This is the stuff that is going on. And then I've also just put another wash load in which is just onesies. I just find it's easy, I do them separately because of the material of them, they dry very quickly. So what I generally do is I just put them over the uh, banister upstairs on the landing and they dry very, very quickly. Just with them taking up quite a lot of space when you do put them in a wash as well. Um, I just find it easier to do um, separate washes with like a group of onesies. And as we are all massive, massive onesie fans, are you all right, Freddie? Yeah, as you're all massive onesie fans in this house, it is easier um, just to get them all done in one um, because we own a lot of onesies between us. So the time is getting on for quarter past three now. Madeline will be in from school shortly and then I'll be cracking on and getting some tea made. And then she has a dance class tonight. Um, and yeah, so then that'll be the day over with again. Um, I was just obviously laughing to myself as well because, uh, as you'll have seen, the Meals of the Week wasn't complete because I forgot to film two of the meals before I got stuck into them. Um, so obviously I'm making a much more con conscious effort this week to make sure that I don't forget. So we're just busy making a little bit of tea. Freddie's... What are you doing, Freddie? You set the table? Oh. Good job. Well done! And there's Madeline! Hi! <laughs> Hello, you had yeah. a good day? Yeah, I'm just getting my drink. Excellent. What have we got tonight? Uh, I've got my advanced ballet. Just the second week. Ooh. Ooh. Really I know, I don't think we give everybody a proper update. Oh yeah, we'll, like, we'll so, update you later. We yeah, we'll do a proper update of that because it's yeah. a really good class I just started doing. Yeah, so we've just got a pile of cooking in the pan. Mm -hmm. Madeline's doing the drinks. Freddie is setting the table. Sorry, Madeline. Freddie is setting the table. There we go. There we go. We just need some cutlery now. Who's doing cutlery? Uh, me, me, oh, okay. Me, me. I better move this washing though. This looks a bit messy, doesn't it? Go on then, Fred. You come and get the cutlery. Move right, excellent. Move <laughs> Good boy. Thanks for your help. <laughs> I better get them. <laughs> so I'm just busy preparing some strawberries and pineapple for after tea. But how nice and red. Like rich red do these strawberries are. Oh, my strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> what, Freddy? Pineapple. Yeah, I'll bring it through in just a second, okay? So I was just preparing some strawberries and some pineapple in there, like I said. Um, Freddie doesn't actually like strawberries or pineapple, but he likes to think he does. And then our paella is just ready in the pan now. I think a little apple loose. I'm going in, in a big bowl. Bowl. Come on then, let me see you. <laughs> they want to see you eating your dinner, Freddy. So I've just brought mine and Madeline's dessert through, and, and, and Freddy has decided that he's having a popsicle. popsicle. Really, I've only given you them because I like you saying popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> So, Madeline says hers is so good that you would what? I would choose it over chocolate any day. Wow. That's that's quite that's quite a um, claim. Mm -hmm. Guys will have to remember that. So, there you go. There it is just sitting in the bowl. And I just think that that looks so, so lovely. I don't even know if like it's actually doing it justice on here with the lighting in this room at all. But um, I just think that it looks really like summery and nice and fresh. Even though it's still absolutely even, freezing. Yeah, even though it's 25 February and it's freezing. But uh, yeah, I think it looks great. 
my phone's going absolutely crazy on the, on the table there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have this and then we'll get it cleaned up. It's freezing! It's freezing, yeah, your popsicle's freezing. Yeah. Is it good though, Madeline? Yeah. Excellent. And yours is definitely good. <laughs> so, just while I'm waiting for Madeline to come down from the shower, um, I'm getting these out of the cupboard to try. We got these in Aldi on a food shop this week. They are called Inclusions Caramelised Onion and Balsamic Vinegar Flavour and they are popped chickpeas. Popped chickpea snacks with real roasted onion. So I've tasted one. They are quite nice. They look like that. Um, they're a bit like... If I maybe hold it like that. Bit they're a bit like a rustic disco. It's the best way I can describe them really. They're quite strong. So I definitely don't think you would eat the whole packet in one go. Um, I guess that the, they are healthier than, say, having a packet of crisps. 3.4 grams of fat in what they're calling a serving of 21 grams. I must go and have a look, but I'm sure a normal packet of crisps has got a little bit more than 21 grams. I will go and check, but, I mean, even so, 3.4 grams of fat is quite low. Um, you know, and obviously, if they enjoy this part of a healthy diet, then that's not too bad. Um... But yeah, I think they are, the, the flavour is quite strong, but then maybe it just means that you won't eat loads and loads of them, so that's one way of making them a healthier snack, isn't it? But imagine if you're going to have, like, say, a girly night over a bottle of wine that could be enjoyed, or put on a buffet, or enjoyed with the family if you're going to be watching a movie or something like that. There you go. But yeah, that's it. I'll just show you the packet again, just in case you do fancy trying it. I'd be interested to see if they do any other flavours as well. There you go. Yeah. But yeah, they're quite nice. I like them. It's nice to try new things as well, I think. Hi guys, it's now Thursday the 7th of February. Um, we've just got back from running a few little errands to the shop. Freddie, what have you got? Come and show me. Now, Freddie has been wanting something for a couple of weeks now, and we've eventually found one today, haven't we, Fred? Can say hi, yeah? Wow! Should we, should we open it up and then you can show everybody what you've got? Yeah, come on then. Let's open it. Can you open it? No, I can't. Leave. All right, mommy, do it. Come on then. I'm sure you could if you tried. Are you really excited? Are you pull? Isn't there already a hole in it? Oh, it's exciting. Are you in? Yeah. What have you got? A snake. A snake. And you've been wanting a snake for a few weeks now, haven't you? Shall I pull the bag? Yeah. You pull one side, I'll pull the other. You got it? Well, you've got to try. Come on, one, two, three. <laughs> right, I'll, you get the snake and I'll get the bag, yeah? Right, one, two, three. Wow, let's see him. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness me. He is a cool. We'll have to cut that off. Wow, let me see, Shaw. Wow, look at his face. Wow, he's beautiful, isn't he? He's quite big as well. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> do you like him? Look at that. That's right. What do you say to Mummy and Daddy? For buying you a snake. Happy birthday. No, you say thank you, don't you? Not happy birthday. Wow! Do you love him? Very big. Yeah, he's very long, isn't he? Do you love him? Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Freddy. So that snake that Freddy's got there was only three pounds forty-nine no. from Home Bargains, wasn't it? That's the snake <laughs> Oh no! Oh goodness me! <laughs> yeah, I thought it was quite a bargain actually. It's about forty-eight inches, I think it said. Um. 3.49 bargain so I did get a few other things while I was out and I'll show you what I got later <laughs> but right now we are going to go and make some lunch and I am going to get attacked by a python <laughs> thanks Fred <laughs> Mwah. lunch time This is the funniest game of musical statues I've ever seen. <laughs> Fred! 
What's happening? <laughs> Fred, let me see you. What are you doing? It's the toilet. <laughs> you had a good day, Madeline? Yes, yeah, it's been yeah. Right, she's have swapped now. <laughs> okay, so these two guys are lying on the floor, but we have a sofa here and a sofa here. There's more stuff on the sofas than there is people. Well. Okay, guys, I'm going to make tea. You're stuck. Just do the hug and roll from friends. You hug and you roll. <laughs> so I'm quite excited for tea tonight because we are having fajitas. Now, I would normally make my own fajitas, but we were quite excited when we are seeing this ready-made fajita mix in Aldi from the frozen section. Um, so this is it here. There we go, so that is vegetable and chicken fajita mix and it says it's ready in 10 minutes and you just cook it straight from frozen. So all I've done is I've bought some wraps and these are quite a large wrap actually. I've got some salsa and then in the fridge I've got things like the lettuce and the sour cream um, and some red onion for the salad. So I'm really, like I say, I'm really quite excited to make it. Um, it's a shame that Daddy Flamingo is miss, missing out, but obviously if it goes down well, then we can get it again and have it when he's home as well. So I shall come back to you when it's ready. So I've just cooked off the chicken, red and green peppers and onions, and I've just put them into the normal um, container that will put everything in. It's nice and hot, it's been in the oven, and it really doesn't look much different from when I cook it separately. So I'm just busy making up my first wrap and so far so good. It smells good. Um, it was still nice and hard. It's ready to eat. Freddie's got his rolled up. He's got the southern fried chicken. And what have you put on your wrap? Can you remember what it's called? S -s Salsa. Very good. And you're enjoying it, aren't you? <laughs> Very good. So there we go. So that's what it looks like. I'm just about to wrap it all up. Madeline's just wrapped hers up. Yeah, I'm about Where to wrap it all. Oh, I've got everything in it but red onions. Oh, she's gone in. She's gone in, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How does it compare then? Mm -hmm. Just to let me know. Just let me know what do you think mm -hmm. compared with, say, doing like the old El Paso mix that I would do or the Aldi Aldi version. I can't speak today. It's not much of a difference. Yeah, really? That's really fantastic. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm going to have to go in for mine now. Right, Madeline is right. It is really good. Can you see that, guys? Mm. <laughs> hey, Brad. Yeah, it's really good. I'm really enjoying that. It is just like the old El Paso. I think what we should do is I'm going to like add up how much it costs with this and the bits of salad and everything and see if it sort of compares price-wise. Because it's quite good not having to start and chop the chicken. Yeah. Let's not mix it all together. Yeah, enjoying that. <laughs> was the door locked? Yeah, it was locked. <laughs> Madeline said she couldn't check the front door uh, and I just obviously snuck up on her. Oh, you're all right. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you doing that? How did you get out of your seat so quick? I just ran down. <laughs> Hi guys, so I've just got back from rehearsal, um, early finish tonight, um, which is great, so I got back here um, just before nine, um, so I've just lit um, my wax melt burner, um, 
I wasn't sure which way I was supposed to have it round. Like the other side's got the bigger hole in with um, the tea light on show. So I've got that face in the back. Um, I'm not sure which way I'm really supposed to have it, but it is currently just sitting on the fireplace. Um, which is a shame at the minute because I normally put the lights on the electric fire, but um, the bulbs once need to get that replaced. Um, and those flowers are really annoying me because they're off to um, so I think I showed you the flowers when I got those from um, the pound shop, so I just popped them in a vase. Um, some people might think that the vase is a little bit oversized, but I quite like it. And obviously, I've changed my light box over to say hashtag love you, obviously, for Valentine's Day. Um, so yeah, it looks quite cute on there. But um, I've got these few little bits piling up on here. And there's some bits piling up on here. Um, and yes, do you guys find that as well? Like there's little bits, like accumulating little areas in the house. Anyway, I've got the pink rhubarb and pear, was it? It's definitely pink rhubarb. Um, the Wickford and Co one, which is really, really nice. I lit it um, before and it melted and then I nipped upstairs after it melted and got a Mwansi. And I'd left the door open in the living room. And when I walked out of my bedroom, I could smell it all the way upstairs. So the scent had traveled along the hallway, up the stairs, onto the first landing, um, and no doubt up in the Madeline's room as well. So um, that is really nice. So I'm basically gonna take advantage of the fact that I have finished a bit earlier at night and get my head stuck back into my script, ready for my Shrek audition on Sunday. It's Friday the 8th of February now and you're joining us just after lunch. Um, Freddie's been in nursery this morning as is the norm on a Friday. Freddie is currently chilling. Um, do you have fun at nursery? Yeah, eating a lolly aren't you? Freddie, re Freddie you really get wiped out at nursery, don't you? You get really tired after nursery on a Friday. So Freddie just likes to have a little chill on the sofa, don't you watch a little bit TV. Um, so, I'm going to take advantage of that this afternoon. Um, Telly Toby's is just about to start, get in, ready to beat buzzing. Um, the house just feels like a bit of a mess. Um, like, my house is never perfect. I mean, I've got a teenager and a two-year-old, um, and obviously I'm here on my own. Um, when Daddy Flamingo goes away. So the house is never perfect, but if I just give you a little quick room tour, and um, bearing in mind this is not going to be a nice room tour or anything like that because there is just bits and pieces everywhere and it's all just getting on my nerves. Okay, so I mean the living room is not too bad, but there is just like on this table for instance, I mean what is the need for all of this stuff? Why is this stuff? So you've got a book with all of its bits and pieces on the sofa. Yes, you put that there. That's all right. That's okay. I, I, I get the mouth in there. Yeah, you did. I mean, I can cope with a little bit of mess in the living room, like on a daily basis. But then, like I was saying last night, you know, we've just got st stuff building up here, and stuff building up here. It just all looks a little bit messy. And then, if we just go out into the hallway, like I've just got a pair. There's a random pair of trainers there which I haven't put away. I mean, this is just a dumping ground at the minute. I've got a pair of boots on the stairs. There is a hoodie just lying there because the hood wasn't quite dry inside, so I turned it the other way around. And then if I come in the kitchen, we've got pretty much the same story here. We've got an accumulation of things, one of those tidy piles here. Everything just seems to look a bit cluttered. The bits on top of here, the stuff on the draining board to put away. There's a pan that I'm soaking from last night. I've just washed them raspberries so they need to go into a box. And the windowsill just looks a mess. <sighs> And you know when you just everything just sort of is out of place and not where it should be. So I'm just gonna have gonna fly around and pick everything up and put it back where it goes, then have a little clean down and a little bit of hoover, and then it should feel better. It probably looks worse than it is, and I'm sure there's some some of you guys are probably thinking, oh my god, like that's nothing. Um but it's just, you know, there's just things where they shouldn't be. And just like, what? Why is that there? Why have I left that there? So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so it's probably not going to make a very interesting vlog. But um, it's got to be done. But the first thing I'm going to do 
is I'm going to get a basket. Um, I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. Actually, I'll get the, the other washing basket that I've got. And what I do is I basically use the basket and go from each room and take everything out of that room that doesn't belong. I'm just going to borrow this a second, Fred, okay? Um, Freddie's been using this as a roller coaster, um, <laughs> as all kids do. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tidy each surface and move everything. And if it doesn't belong in this room, I'm going to go and put it where it goes. What's the matter? Your dog, oh, it's a dog ball now. Oh, okay then. You have your dog ball back, darling. Good boy. Right, okay. We'll find something else to use then, guys. Right, no problem. So, yeah, that is my tip. Like, when I'm cleaning, I like to clean one room at a time and then move on the next one. So, I just find it easier if you've got some sort of basket or a receptacle or a box or something just to throw everything in that doesn't belong in that room rather than just keep going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards between each room. So that's just how I like to do it. I'm so pleased I've just turned like a quick once over in the kitchen and in the hallway so it's looking much, much better now. So the services are feeling much fresher. Um, I haven't got like loads of random bits and pieces anymore kicking around. Um, looking much better on top of here especially I'm really happy with that that's just our gift cards that I need to put in Freddie's bag when I get it out of the car and there we go it's looking much better so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give our lovely bin a wash so I've just taken the bags out so I've got the bag the new bag to go in there so I've just got this which is a two compartment bin one side which you can see it's absolutely disgusting um, and this part is the recycling and then that's just my outputs that I use for going in and out of the garage so we're going to take the bin upstairs now. I'm going to give it a bath. Right, so you'll be joining us here in my bathroom. And we're just going to clean this bin, like I said. So I've got my um, nasty job rubber gloves on. Um, I'm going to be using some Zaflora. Um, I like the Mountain Air one. Um, I also like the Fresh Linen one as well. And sponge-wise, what I do is... If I've got a particular like, dirty job to do, I like these the scour sponges that you would just use for washing your dishes. But I always think it's a bit of a shame because like, after I've done this, I'm going to throw it out. So what I tend to do is, if I've been using one for a few days to wash dishes, then I'll just take that one, use it, throw it out, and then just start a fresh one for the dishes again. So um, I can't find a place to put the camera to angle it into the bath properly because I want to do like a time lapse, but I can't do that. So. I'm just going to go ahead and clean it. I'll stop halfway through and show you what I'm doing. Um, but that's probably the best I can do. Guys, I'm traumatised. Um, I knew the bin was dirty, but that was even dirtier than I actually thought. I'm just going to pick up the sponge that I used just to show you how much how dirty it is on there. Look at that. And I showed you before I started, it was like pretty much okay. Um, there was even a bit of blue tack stuck on one of the bins. Um, and I never noticed it because normally I take the inside of the bin out, lift the bag out, I don't normally turn it over. Um, so no wonder it had been sticking when it was coming in and out of the bin. Um, so this is where I'm at now. Um, just got the actual casing sitting in the bath. The two things that go inside the bin, the two containers, are just coming in the side. Now... I've done it as best I can. I mean, looking at it now, I'm realising just how dirty it actually was. So, how did I do it? Well, basically, all I do is um, I get a cup full of Zaflora and I put it, tip it straight onto the sponge and then I clean all the areas of the bin Daddy. and rinse it all off. Hi, Freddie. Hey. Put it in. Yeah. I'm coming. We're gonna, is Madeline here yet? Oh, is she? Cool. Um, Freddie decided he didn't want to stay in the bathroom. Actually, he was quite offended that I was putting the bin in the bath. So, he ended up rushing off downstairs. Not very happy. Anyway, I digress. So, she's not here yet. She'll be here in a minute, darling. So, I just um, wash all surfaces and then rinse them all down. But what I do find is that if you give the bin a good rinse out with the shower head before you start, you can often find that the shower head... Sort of, you've got a blankie, right? I'll come and put it on you. You find that it sort of blasts some of the bits off anyway. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to leave the parts of the bin 
to dry off a little bit in the bath before I take them downstairs. Now what I will be doing is with it being stainless steel, I'll be using some stainless steel cleaner on the outsides because that really hasn't come up as best as I want it to. And if all else fails, I'm going to end up chucking the bin out and buying a new one um, if it doesn't come up really nice because, guys, it was pretty rotten. And also, um, I managed to sort my jeans. I don't know if you can see that all around here. So I'm just going to have to go and change my jeans as I've got to go out in a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm going to head downstairs and put a blankie on Freddie now and then sort my jeans out. So there you go. That is my exciting afternoon cleaning out the bin. Right. <laughs> Massive apologies, guys, but it has literally been hours since we've vlogged. Um, I think this could have done with the whole five hours later thing that everybody seems to put on. Um, because um, Madeline's back from school. <laughs> um, we've been back out I have had my lash extensions done can we see that there yep Ooh, looking good I wanted to go really full on glam this time so quite a few events coming up over the next week or so um, so yeah it is actually <laughs> it's actually just after 8pm now so Freddie's in bed um we are now to in our onesies this is my favorite onesie of madeline's that mickey Tossing mouse mine. is it mickey or minnie it's mickey mouse it's yeah. mickey mouse um i'm in my onesie and um it's a little treat to me and madeline one more so me um is we have our tea in front of the tv without freddie <laughs> now that might sound a bit awful to some people yeah. but it's just, it's nice for me um, because I don't have to get up and down, up and down, up and down when I'm eating. And it's nice for Madeline because she gets a little bit of peace. Yeah. You know, I mean, we'll love them. God love them. There we go. I can see more of them. Yeah, we'll love them and everything. But, you know, anybody who's got um, a young one, you know, sort of from, let's just say one, because I guess before then you're kind of maybe feeding them yourself, um, themselves. You're feeding them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm hungry. <laughs> um... And then after that, I think sometimes it's like, can I have a drink? I need this, I need that. And the only real, real way to like actually stop them from keep asking for it is to get it. So we are having a little bit of a little pizza party, as I always like to say. I'll bring the camera around that way because it probably looked a bit weird the other way. So we've got a four cheese stone baked pizza from Aldi, which we actually bought last week, I think. Yes, we got it last week. Um, I've got some homemade chips. I mean, guys, don't they just look amazing? How do they taste, Madeline? They're really good. Yeah? yeah. Really good? Yeah. Excellent. Um, and they're just done. I've, I've, well, I've taught you all before, but if anybody needs to know, just comment down below and I'll tell you again or direct it to the video. And I've also got some onion rings there again from Aldi. Um, and they're just from the frozen section. So that is our little treat for this evening. Uh, which I'm looking forward to it. Um, I feel like I look a little bit haggard today, I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be the end of Friday, so we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Bye for now. Hi everyone, so it is Saturday um, and I have just finished work and as you can see, Storm Eric is in full flow <laughs> my hair is an absolute mess i'm not even sure if the lighting's good in here or not guys so i'm sorry right so i'm just on a bit of a secret mission at the minute because it's freddie's birthday on friday um so i'm just about to go into smith's um i've tried to i wanted to position the phone on the dashboard but i'm in jason's car um and it just doesn't have the same dashboard as in mine so i'm kind of having to hold my phone where it is yes i'm on the phone i've got my camera in the house so i'm gonna head into smith stretching by the car park it's quite busy in there um so i'm just hoping that it's not too bad um, i've actually got something on click and collect to get um which i'm quite excited to pick up and then i'm gonna have a quick look at a few things while i'm in there to go with the thing that i've got on click and collect um, so I don't have any any children with me. Um, unfortunately, Madeline's not very well this morning, um, so she's in bed. Um, my mum's at hours at the minute, um, looking after Freddie as per usual on a Saturday morning. So I'm going to head into Smith's now. So wish me luck. Success! Yay! 
okay so i got what i wanted to get in smith so far for freddie but my goodness me it was busy in there and it was full of lots of unhappy children which considering it is a toy shop um, <laughs> isn't really the best thing is it guys um, so yes i am pleased to be out there pleased to be back in the car out of the wind it is absolutely horrific out there um, so yeah, I'm going to head home and see the guys, see how Madeline's feeling, um, and get some lunch with my mum. <laughs> what are we doing, Fred? <laughs> we are having a picnic. No, we're writing the stars. We're what? We're rewriting the stars, are we? Yeah. Okay. No, we're but we're actually, we're having a picnic. And what watching on the TV? What's on? I don't know. Honey, I shrunk the kids. Yeah. yeah. So we did have those party rings and that yellow one. Cheddar's in there. Obviously, there's still some Cheetos, as Freddie calls them, in there. Um, but you've hoovered them up, haven't you? You ate them up. Hmm. There you go. Hoovered them up. So we're now making tea. It's Saturday evening and everybody's really excited because I've made chili with rice. Hi Freddie. Um and nachos. And at the minute, why do you need a telly guys? Look at this. One, two. <laughs> oh, it's not it doesn't make for a very good um film because I need to clean the dots off here again. Can I just open it, just open the door and then I can see properly. Right, this is what everybody's sitting looking at is the cheese melting on the nachos. And it's melting quick, guys. It's looking good. And there's Freddie over there. Hi, Fred. Hi. Hello. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hi, Madeline. Hi. <laughs> you be careful, mister. Hi guys, so here we are Sunday again, Doomsday Part 2. Um, I'm just about to head inside to do my audition for Dragon and Fiona in Shrek the Musical. Um, I'm nervous obviously, but I've done all that I can do now. And just like I said last week, it's not over till it's over. So I'm just going to go in there and give it my best shot. And um, fingers crossed guys, so <sighs> let's do this. Hi guys, so that is me back from my audition. I've just changed into my pyjamas. Um, as you can see, um, I'm quite happy. Um, obviously, you would never know how well these things have gone. Um, I wasn't disappointed with my performance at all. I didn't come out thinking, oh my goodness me, um, I should have done better. But I think I've really like hurt my throat this week. <laughs> um, it feels really strained and feels kind of croaky now I notice as I was uh, when I come back when I was talking to my mum and Madeline um, so I think it's probably time for my throat to have a well earned rest as I've probably pushed it to the limit this week in terms of singing and reading through the lib that we had so all I can do now is wait um, I did the best I could and like I say I haven't come out thinking oh I wish I could do better or anything like that and you just never know and all you can do is just get on with things and hope that you get that call saying that you've got the part so <clears throat> so it's actually just after 10 o'clock now um and i'm gonna have a cup of tea i'm gonna watch a little bit of tv and then i'm gonna head up to bed ready for the start of a new week so this ends um this weekly vlog um so i hope everybody has enjoyed this week's vlog and i'll see you all in the next video and hopefully i'll have be a better voice because it's getting really croaky now so bye for now guys see you in our next video